Welcome. This briefing will be about the Connecticut Military Relief Fund. My name is Russell Bonacorso. I have a few slides that I want to share with you, and I'll give you an overview of the program and what we do. So the Connecticut Military Relief Fund, very simply, it provides financial assistance to service members within the state of Connecticut who are experiencing a financial hardship. Uh, it's a state program. It's not a DOD program. So there are some unique requirements uh, that you have to be a state employee, a state resident, for example, and I'll go over all of those types of things. So there are four eligibility criteria in order to be eligible for the program. The first one is you need to be currently serving in the military, and this includes all branches, all components and all services, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps and, and Coast Guard. And you could be on active duty in the reserves or the National Guard. Eligible members are also the service member themselves, the spouse, the child of the service member, and the parents. And with some special circumstances, other members could be eligible as well, other family members, that is, depending on the living arrangements. So this is open to all services. The, the caveat here, though, is not open to veterans. You have to be currently active active in one of these services, not on active duty, but active in the service. Second criteria, very simply, you need to be a resident of the state of Connecticut. It is a Connecticut program and not a DOD program. So if you happen to be a Connecticut National Guardsman, but you reside outside of the state, you're not going to be eligible for this program. Other states do have similar programs. So if you do are experiencing a hardship and you're not sure where to go or who to call, contact me and we'll get you pointed in the right direction. I have my contact information at the end of this slide and we'll share it. All right, the end of the presentation and I'll share it. The third criteria. So in order to be eligible for the for a grant, you have to have a financial hardship. So even though you might be on active duty or you know on in active service and you're experiencing some sort of um, loss of financial pay, for example, you still need to act, actually have a hardship. There needs to be some sort of, of urgent need, some sort of bill that needs to be paid. And it could be rent, it could be mortgage, it could be your utilities, it could be a, you know, a car accident, it could be repairs. There's a multitude of things that, that could qualify as a financial hardship. There's a, but to be clear, there needs to be a, the hardship is defined as you, you've got a bill, you don't have the means to pay it. And the final criteria and the one that's a little bit trickier and, and really is what qualifies you for this program is the financial hardship must be a, must have been caused by the military, by your military service, your duty, your commitment. Somehow the military contributed to this problem either in full or in part your commitment to military duty created this financial hardship. If you have a financial hardship that is is created outside of your military duty, for example, you got laid off from your civilian job, that's not going to qualify you for this program. So I'd like to say I can go over some specific examples of what would be a, a, a qualifying hardship, but in the, in the many years I've been doing this program, Every application has been unique, so I don't want to say this is what qualifies and this is what doesn't qualify. I would say that if you're if you're having a financial hardship, you think it's been caused by the military, give me a call. We'll go over your situation and we'll take it from there. So if you are eligible for the program, our committee meets, reviews your applications, determine that you're eligible for a grant. You can be provided a grant up to $5,000. Now, that's not to say everybody who applies gets $5,000. It's based on uh, back to that criteria number three of wh what hardship are you having a challenge paying? So if you're late on your mortgage and your mortgage is $2,000, more than likely $2,000 is what the grant is going to be. So with that said, though, I will say, though, that you can apply for for this program as many times as you you as you'd like doesn't necessarily mean you'll be approved every time but 
the one time grant of five thousand dollars is not a lifetime cap. It's simply a. I'll say an application cap. So if you experience a hardship, we give you a grant of five thousand dollars a year later, two years later, ten years later, whatever. You have another hardship that, that financial hardship caused by the military. You need to apply again. You can apply again. You could even apply, you know, the next month if the case, you know, warrants. So how to apply? On the final slide, I've got our website where you can get the application form. But very simply, the application form is what you need to fill out. It's a CTMD, Connecticut Military Department, Form 7-1. It's relatively simple. It's got some basic information that we require in order to process your grant, such as some um, uh, personal identifiable information, you know, your name, your address, uh, family members. It's got some um, blocks where we need to find out a little bit more about your financial situation. In other words, how much do you have available to you? Uh, what's in your bank account? What are you currently making for income, if anything? <clears throat> And then finally, you know, what what is the nature of your hardship? So, you know, copies of bills, things like that, and an explanation of what you're going through. So here are some examples of the documentation that we are required. It is a government program, so there is a, a bureaucracy to this. It is an auditable program. So, you know, even though it might seem cumbersome a little bit, but we do need this information in order to ensure that we're providing services to those who are truly eligible for the program. Finally, here's my contact information. I work out of the Hartford Armory at 360 Broad Street. I'm in room number 113. The email for this program is MRF, which stands for Military Relief Fund at ct.gov. Phone number 860-524-4968, our fax number here. And then finally, our website where you can find all of this information as well as the application form and um, our contact information. So it's www.ct.gov slash MIL slash MRF. And that concludes my briefing.